What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Bitter Giggle from the Garden of Ban Ban. Let's begin today's lesson at the top of our page and draw two large circles for the eyes. Now we're gonna start with the one on the left. We're gonna start from the very top of our circle, come all the way down towards the bottom, and then bring that back up towards the top. Now we wanna leave a large gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So we're gonna start by lining up the top of the circle, and we wanna bring that down towards the same height, and then pull it back up towards the top. Now we're gonna draw two smaller circles along the inside for the pupils, but we're gonna shift them in. So from the inside of the left eye, let's step out and draw a smaller circle going around, go down, and then up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the inside, going around, and then down, and then we'll fill the pupils in black. And now we're gonna move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Let's line up with the outside of the eye. We're gonna come down, start by curving this up, and then bring that down towards the right. And I just wanna curl this up around the right eye, going up. Let's go back to the left side and draw the bottom of the mouth. And draw that similar curve going up, come down, and then bend that up towards the right side. And then we wanna fill the inside of the mouth in black. Now that we have the eyes and the mouth, let's draw on that center seam. So in the middle, we're gonna step all the way up towards the top of the head. I'm just gonna add a point. And we're gonna draw a wave coming all the way down. Go out towards the left, towards the right, and then back across. Let's line this up underneath the mouth. I'm just gonna bend this down and over towards the right. Now from here, we wanna add that star pattern around the left eye. Let's start on top of the mouth. We're gonna add these points going all the way around. Just going up towards the top of the eye. Going all the way around the outside. I just wanna pull this back in towards the top of the mouth. Let's add that trim around the right eye. We're gonna start in between that seam and the eye and go up, bend that down. And it's gonna curl that up towards a point. Let's go back to the inside. I'm gonna bend this down and then out on top of the mouth. Let's go back up to the top right, bend this down around the eye and then in. Now that we complete the face, let's draw the area around the head. We're gonna start with the left side by adding these large points. Let's start from the very top, bend this up and then across. Come down with a straight angled line. Let's draw another one, going up and then out. Angle this back down and then in. Now we're gonna work our way around and then back up towards this point. Let's add another curve, going out and then down. Pull that back in. Now coming around the corner of the mouth. And then we're gonna add one more, coming down. And I just wanna bend this up and then in towards the middle. Now I'm gonna go back up to the top and draw on the right side. From here, going up above the eye, come down. And I just wanna bend that back up towards a point. And it's gonna round out this point. I'm gonna bend this down. And I wanna pull that back in towards the center. We're just gonna leave a gap along the inside. Now I wanna continue that center seam coming down the body. So we're just gonna bend this out, across, and then down in between the legs. From the bottom, it's gonna add a fold, going up and then down. Now we're gonna draw on the side of the body. We're gonna start with the left side with these points. We we'll start underneath the head, go out, and then pull it back in. And I'm just gonna bring these down towards the hip, going out and in, and we'll add one more. Let's line up the top of the body over on the right. I'm just gonna bend this out and then down towards the same height. 
Now I want to leave a gap in the center, go to the right side, just going to bend the leg going out and then down towards the heel. Let's move over toward the left. We're going to add some points along the inside of the leg. We're going to come in and out, and in and then out. Let's tuck the bottom of the leg underneath. So we're going to step back, bend this in and then down towards the same height. Now you want to round out the bottom of the feet, starting on the left, curl this down and then up. And do the same thing on the right. Let's curve the front of the foot, like out and then up. Now on the left side, I'm just gonna round out the toe, come down and then bend that in. Now from the right hip, we're just gonna bend the leg coming down on top of the foot. So we're gonna follow that same curve, coming out and then down. Let's add a seam across the base of the leg with a curve coming down and then up. Now let's go back over towards the left side and add a couple more points. Coming out and then in. Go out and then pull that in towards the ankle. Now I want to step back, curve the outside leg coming down and out on top of the foot. Now I want to add that same seam coming down and up. Now let's go back up to the top and draw on the arms. Let's start on the left side with the inside edge of the arm. We're going to start on top of this point, going up and out. Let's add a point, coming down and up. And then we'll do that one more time. Now you want to round out the hand. It's going to bend this in and down. Go to the outside and then bend that up. And we'll separate the hand with a curve. Now we're going to work our way up along the outside of the arm. We're going to add these points going up and back in. Let's continue going up towards the top. Let's add one more and just pull that in underneath the head. Now you're going to line up the inside of the arm over on the right, bend the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Now we're going to add a set of wavy fingers along the bottom. So let's start on the inside, come in, down and then in. Now I just want to taper this so it gets wider as you come out towards the hand. Let's add another finger pointing down. Come down, out, and then down. And then taper that back in. Let's add another finger. Going out, up, and then down. And trace that back in. I'm just going to add one more finger. Going out and down. Trace that back in towards the outside of the wrist. Now I want to go back up underneath the head and draw that same curve coming down towards the outside of the wrist. Now let's sign our art and add a splash of color and that's pretty much it. That's how we draw the bitter giggle from the Garden of Ban Ban. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Hey everyone, if you really want to discover your artistic potential, then join our Club Masterclass membership. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description and I'll see you in the club.